Hello and welcome to my beginner's guide to animating uh, and animating your kind of creations in Craft Studio. Uh, let's just pop into this one up here and we'll just have a look at uh, Han Solo. And I've done a little animation for Han, let's just uh, press play here and you see I'm just going kind to of walking along. Uh, I might uh, even make his head tilt to one side and tilt to the other. Um, so this is just really, really simple. Um, if you want to see some other examples of animations if you go to the community hub and uh, let's go up to featured models and okay. we can have a look at and you I'd recommend having a look at other people's work as well we can have a look here so we've got build paint and animate and uh, these are the different there's run idle coding puke oh my goodness oh dear Oh my goodness, that's just horrible. Uh, <laughs> let's do run. So this is a really complicated run, but really nicely animated. And you can see there's a little wiggle in the body, and the hips are moving and everything else. But let's start with something um, nice and simple, uh, easy to do. And um, so I've got uh, I've got a little dummy here, and um, so I've just made this character. And he's he's rather simple and rather nice. So I've got um, I've got my head, my body, my arm. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna rename my arms. That's his left arm. So let's just do left. I know which is which. Rename and arm. Let's do right arm. Excellent. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach the head to the body. So the body's gonna be the central point. Okay, and then I'm going to attach the uh, arm to the body, and the other arm to the body, and the leg to the body, and the other leg to the body. Okay, so everything's attached to the body. So if I click on the body, and I move it about, everything else follows it about. Okay, now you think, yeah. So what? Well, let's let's do this. Let's attach the um, let's let's take one of them out. And if I do that, then you can see that um, it, uh, I'm just moving the body, but the arm's not attached. So let's just move everything back in to sync. So I can individually animate all these separate bits, but they'll stay aligned to the body. The next thing we're going to do is we have to re realign all the pivots. Now, we've looked at kind of position, and we've looked at orientation, and we've looked at block size. The next thing is this thing called pivot offset. Um, so let's have a look at the head. And at the moment, it, it, we've got these kind of funny balls, uh, and it looks a little bit like the move tool. Uh, but let's have a little look. If we were to where this guy's neck is and where it would pivot really on a neck would be down the bottom, so attached to the shoulders. But at the moment, when we when we turn his head. His head turns from the center. Okay, so we don't really want that to happen. What we want to do is we want to make the head turn from the neck. So we need to offset that central pivot, hence the name, pivot offset. So what we can do is we can, if we move this down or up, and this is going to, this is probably going to change. Um, so don't worry about it too much. There it is. Um, and the chain because we're in still this is still alpha software um, at the moment it's a bit weird because we move the pivot and really we should be moving the pivot not the head but but anyway uh, stick with it that pink blob is the pivot and we've moved it to the bottom of the head so that's where we want it to be and then we can go back into our move and move the head back down so it touches the body oops there we go and then when we go to our orientation, we can see that the head is now moving on th off the shoulders. And the same thing, we need to do that with the arms as well. So let's click on this arm here. And at the moment, you can see the pivot is right in the center of that block. So we go to pivot offset, and we need to move it to the edge. And do navigate, you know, use this 3D space, use your, your space to, to check out where that thing is. And we can see... Um, oops, let's 
move in a bit. We can see that uh, it's just poking out the side, and we want it about there. So that's where the shoulder here connects to the arm, and then go back to our move. Oops, move and move it into place. And then when we want to move the arm, it will move properly like that, rather than this one that's not been done moves in the center becomes a bit fiddly when we want to animate it and we'll just, we'll just want to move it so there's a little bit of preparation to do um, with your model first of all so let's just get all that done really quickly Okay, so now that we've got the pivot offset uh, pieces done for the arms and the legs and the head, we can get on and do some animation. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do we're going to animate a leg. So let's try the left leg here. And to animate a walk cycle, we're going to need to put in three key frames. Now the frames are here, and it starts at zero and ends in thirty. So we're going to have to put one at the beginning and one at the end and then one at the middle uh, so let's start right at the beginning and uh, and we're going to put add a keyframe that changes the orientation so we'll click orientation and click plus add a keyframe and we're going to put his leg forward a little bit um, and I think I'm going to put in well, it's a minus so let's put minus 35 okay and um, We'll take it to the end, and because his legs already offset, uh, I can add another keyframe, and it uh, it does exactly the same thing. So we've got two keyframes um, in exactly the same place, and you want that because this animation will, is going to loop, and it's going to so as it loops around from the first one, it's going to reach the the last, and you want it to kind of flip back to the first one again and repeat. Uh, and make no change. So the first and the last keyframes have got to be exactly the same. Uh, so let's do the changing one, which is going to be about 15, and uh, that's going to basically put that leg opposite in the opposite direction. So instead of minus 35, it's going to be well, a positive number. So let's add a keyframe and add 35. Okay, and uh, that's our that's a that's our first bit of animation. Let's just play it and see what happens. And as you see, it's it's like a pendulum swinging backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. So as it reaches the last one, it, it uh, repeats that loop and loops forever. If you want an animation just to do one thing, not a walk cycle, for example, you can press this button, hold last for keyframe, and the animation will only repeat once. Uh, and that's useful if you want to do a, a, like a wave or something that's just going to happen just once. Um, I, I, can't think of very many examples. Maybe you could put some in the comments. Uh, so that's one leg. Uh, so let's do the other leg on the other opposite side, and show you how we're going to reverse this. So let's go back to our first one, and you see that the left leg's poking forward. Well, we're going to change the orientation for us uh, on this leg and put it back facing backwards. So again, make sure orientation selected and add a keyframe, and then I think it's just drag it backwards so that's going to be 35 and we'll take it right to the end add another keyframe zip it to the the middle 15 add a keyframe and then just change that to minus 35 and press play and we should have two little legs wiggling about okay so that's a very simple walk cycle let's start animating the rest of the figure as well and just get these arms moving as well. So um, let's drag up back to our keyframe and, and grab an arm. So we'll start with the left arm, his left arm. And again, we're going to do uh, orientation. Let's let's put that arm heading backwards a little bit. Let's not take it all the way. Let's do something like 25. Great. And let's swing it out a little bit as well. So this blue. We'll put it about, I think we'll put it about 10. 
Okay, so let's see what that looks like. So that's that's nice. So again, we're going to add exactly the same keyframe at the end, and then put one in the middle, um, and that's going to be minus 25. Oops, which I forgot to put a keyframe in. <laughs> put it in the middle. Get the keyframe in the middle. Add a keyframe. And in that one, it's going to be minus 25. Okay, great. Let's press play. So we can see that the arm is swinging backwards and forwards. Uh, a couple more things you could do with this. You could actually have the arm swing into the body a little bit. Because we're adjusting everything off these pivot offsets, uh, we can do you know it gives us the freedom to uh, really experiment. So let's uh, let's find out where the arm is kind of almost vertical to the body, and it's about eight. And I'm going to add another keyframe here, and I'm going to bring the arm a little bit closer. And I'm going to bring the arm in by five. I'm going to take it to another point where it's near the body, and I think it's about 22. Perfect. And add another keyframe, and that's going to be 52. So if we see now, what's going to happen is the um, the arm just swings into the body a little bit, uh, makes it a little bit more convincing as a, as a sort of a swinging arm. So let's do the same to the side. moving together, sort of opposite each other, diagonally anyway, walking along. Now, as a character walks along, it sometimes uh, bobs up and down. Uh, and what happens is, as you are walking along, your big stride, your, your whole body goes down a bit. And then when your legs are together, you kind of bob up a bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to add those bobs in, and we're going to add them into the body. And that's because the body is at, uh, at the top of the hierarchy, and everything is attached to the body. So the body is really at the centre of his gravity, if you like. <clears throat> so let's... Um, and we're going to do a move keyframe here. So we're going to put one at the beginning, one at the end, and then right in these two sections here, so it's 22, Oh, we're going to put one in the middle as well. 15 is going to be a stride as well, so that needs to be zeroed. And then the two bobs, one is the 8, and uh, that's when he goes up a little bit. So we'll just grab that one. And I'm going to pop him up 2. One, two. I think that's 2. And then we'll go to 22. And add another one and pop them up to one, two. So let's just check that out. 37, 14. Well, actually, it should be 37, 38. Let's do 39. Yep. Okay, great. So let's have a look at this. Just popping along. There we go. So it looks quite nice. Now let's add one last thing, which is a, a little head the head turning a little bit as well. Um, so let's grab the head, so select the head, S uh, scrub our frame to zero, and we want to turn the head, I like turning the head, uh, kind of, if the arm's out there, then the head's turning this way a little bit. So we'll grab the orientation, and we'll add a keyframe, and we'll turn him a little bit, which is about that, so we'll just just like maybe seven, yeah, yeah, not too much. Um, and we'll drag it to the other end, and we'll add another keyframe, which is seven again, and then we'll pop it in the middle. Fifteen. Add a keyframe, and just put um, minus seven, and then that should. Do 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 boom 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 boom. Bum, bum, walking along. 
there you go so that's just a really easy way of um, just creating a quick uh, a quick animation and you can add flourishes and all, all sorts of other bits and pieces uh, and do have a look at everybody else's work as well because it's astonishing some of the work that's happening uh, and to do this uh, just go over to the community hub and uh, take a look at the, some of the models there. I've also put a little folder called the common people and there you can find this animation tutorial so do take a look at it I'll be uh, updating this uh, as well so other tutorials in the future all the stuff will be in little um, uh, in the community hub thanks for listening bye bye